did you find the aspects of the AHQ easy to, to fill out or, and did you find it more challenging? Which one was harder and not? And I think you've already hit on a few of them about the gross motor or the ball. So I don't know if anybody wanted to address that or if they have something they could think of. So yeah. Well, I I was going to say we until until the pandemic we've always had like taken home the paper copy, and I think being able to have it for a few days has been really helpful because. Pretty much what we usually do is we go through and anything we know the answers to off the bat, we answer. And then we kind of have a list of things to look for. So over the next couple of days, we'll, if we've never tried it, like the drawing a line, we'll try it or we'll kind of see like, okay, how often, you know, is this a sometime or an all busy grabbing our hand versus walking down the stairs or, okay, if I give the ball five times, how many times did we pick it? So, Cool. We've got a tool, right? Kind of like what you were just saying to have the paper copy so that we can just have it right there and yeah. kind of be, be referencing it and look over a couple of days because any child, they're not always, at least I think any child, they're not always perform on command. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when you want mm-hmm. them. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's been nice to kind of have it and then be able to look over a couple of days and get, give him a couple of chances to try it and. Um, especially for things that we've, that we've never tried before. Um, I think it was a harder part sometimes is, you know, I, the, the multiple choice ones are pretty straightforward, um, especially like the pictures, anything where it shows the picture of what they're supposed to be doing. Yeah. At the end, when it kind of asks, you know, do you feel your child talks like other ch- children their age? Um, do you feel they, you know, move, run, jump like other children their age? I think we've had trouble with that one. But with those sometimes, just trying to be, you know, you don't want to be comparing them against. Right. Well, I, I know he has friends, but are they exactly the same age as him? Because two months actually <laughs> takes a really big to me. Um, you know, so-and-so is talking up a storm, but is that normal? I don't know. <laughs> So I think we always over, overthink maybe that section uh, because we want to get the answer right, but you know, we're like, we think he's okay, but uh, I don't know. We, we have a joke in our house uh, for the question of, are you worried about your child? We're like, always, all the time. <laughs> but then we always check no, because he's actually doing, you know, pretty, he's pretty much on the right level for all his developmental skills, which is probably what that's talking about, but like, I worry about them all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I remember one that was tricky. And again, I know I was with you, Miss Bernadette, but it was for the six month old one where um, we needed to sort of scale whether Sam was making enough low pitched sounds or like guttural sounds or something. So that was an interesting one of like, well, what do they mean by guttural? Like you don't necessarily, you know, words, yeah. language, things mean different things, different different people. So it's like, yeah. I think it's pretty deep, but I don't know. Could he go deeper? Like, <laughs> he's more like, eh, but most, most of his stuff is, eh, so is that okay? Is that enough? So there is this um, gray area, I guess you need to work around, but uh, mm-hmm. no, it's nothing that makes me say, I never want to take this quiz again. This was too hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One thing I found really interesting was doing it with with all of us together, like Territory I and and Ned's babysitter. Sometimes people had very different answers. Oh, you know, sometimes I would say, no, I, I've never seen him do that, and and someone else would say, oh yeah, he does that all the time. Um, <laughs> but I, I, I see how I have like like all of us either sitting in the last time we filled it out a couple of weeks ago, we were all sitting around the computer doing it or, or um, as Hannah says, having the paper copy so we could all discuss it. Um, if it had just been me filling it out, it would have been a very different set of responses than having all the people who spend a lot of time with them. Wow, so interesting. I think you guys have already talked about it when you had said, did you learn anything about your child or did you find anything unexpected in the results? Because I know you've talked about the kicking the ball and the drawing. Is there anything else you want to add to that part? So, you know, certain things were highlighted that were a surprise or that were sort of like, not a surprise, that were, that were kind of unexpected. But 
to say again that they were surprising, I wouldn't go that far because, okay. you know, I didn't really know what to expect. Um, right. And that sort of was across uh, a few of the different categories that he did well on or didn't do so well on. We were, you know, we were, you know, it, it was enlightening uh, uh, on every on every front. To learn anything unexpected, and you know, to an extent, we did. Is that um, the the gross motor was something that we were told. You know, this is sort of continually sort of a, a lagging a little behind where it ought be. Um, you know, which you know, it's. Again, when you sort of say something about unexpected, and I go back to what I was saying, is that sort of this is our first and only child, like sort of a couple of others in the group, and it's, you know, unexpected suggests we have expectations, and it's hard mm -hmm. to say something's unexpected if I don't, mm -hmm. again, have reference to say, look, you know, my first four kids were great at this, and this guy's not so good. I don't have that sort of a <laughs> good experience. And Great then it's, it's guys find in, in some ways, it, it, it's kind of nuanced and subtle in that, you know, uh, sort of as uh, Melissa was saying about kicking a ball, you know, she probably kicked the ball, but you felt like, you know, how Lucy kicked the ball was fine. And then somebody's telling you, oh, no, you know, she needs to sort of like lever her foot back and, and kick it. What she's kind of doing is pushing it. And, you know, by the age of two and a half, she shouldn't be pushing. She should be, you know, kicking. So that's what I mean by, you know, maybe that was slightly unexpected to you in so much as you didn't really kind of know what, a two and a half year old, how, how they should be kicking the ball, let's say. And I know that's only kind of one lens to look at right. their overall sort of a, a sort of one little piece, right, to sort of assess their overall um, competency in one area. But so we learned something unexpected in so that the, you know, that he was a little bit behind in, in this area. Um, it was unexpected, but not surprising, if you know what I mean. Okay. Um, it was surprising. We'd say like, oh, he was doing amazing at this. He was doing fantastic. But it was more just he, he seemed fine. And because um, it just you know, like other people were saying, I've seen other kids, some of them were bigger, some of them were stronger, some of them were faster, some of them were smaller, some of them were slower. You know, we don't always know exactly what age a child is. Um, right. It's important to go through these different um you know, at, at these different milestones to go through yeah. the different ASQs when he reaches this age and this age. Obviously, I would prefer to be doing it face to face. Obviously, now we can't do it face to face, and I fully understand. And you know, I wouldn't if the option was available to me. Um, so, in that sense, if there was something virtual at this point in time, it would be something that we'd personally, I think, kind of take uh, and you know, and do.